The flu is rapidly starting to pick up here in central Arkansas, meaning parents need to watch out for potential symptoms in their kids. Some Arkansas schools are making it easier for parents to do just that with the help of smart thermometers. TV 11's Melissa Zigowitz shows us how this program is keeping track of the flu this year. Craig Marlisa, Sherwood Elementary was one of the first schools in the country to test out the fluency program last year. And now about a dozen more Central Arkansas schools have jumped on board. Just turn it on. It goes under the child's tongue. Amber Vanaman, the school nurse at BB Early Childhood Education, has already seen cases of the flu. I have students lined up at my door at 730 saying, you know, I don't feel good. As a lower income school, Vanaman says some kids don't have access to thermometers at home. And normally they're running a fever. But these free thermometers are saving some trouble. They can take that temperature at home. Vanaman says more than 400 parents and teachers are enrolled in the fluency program. If they're running a fever, it's going to say um, to turn on your app and it's going to log that information. She says the app then shows her how many students are sick and what they're sick with. The parent can even access that information at home and say, whoa, there's five kids out in my student's class. Parents can also use the smart thermometer app to send messages or questions to the school nurse. It ran his fever within seconds. Ashley Thrift says when her son was sick last week. At one point, my son was running 130 temp. The thermometer also gave her advice based on his symptoms. It told me that I needed to contact um, my son's pediatrician immediately. The Arkansas Department of Health says this week alone, more than 200 cases of the flu were reported. Health officials say these early numbers are worse than the past two years. I'm able to see what's going around at that time. Vanderman says this app will hopefully help parents identify flu symptoms quicker. And don't have to send them to school and infect the whole class. Vanderman says most of her students this year so far tested positive for type B flu.